Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joy Bettenhausen. We're starting to see some light rain pushing into eastern Iowa. Storm Track 7 live off the radar, showing a couple showers moving through Cedar Rapids, just north of Iowa City there, as well as west of Iowa City. Some light showers pushing in near Washington, but that's it so far. Things have been pretty dry across eastern Iowa. We'll likely see that shower chance continuing from south to north throughout the day today. Tomorrow, we get a better chance at some widespread rain, maybe a couple isolated thunderstorms storms and then by Wednesday that rain finally ends out there. Winds will be light today and on the southeast but tomorrow we'll really start to see those wind speeds pick up. We could see winds gusting up to 35 miles per hour. Mix a little bit of rain with that especially on the heavier side. It could reduce visibilities throughout the day tomorrow for the morning and evening commutes. Well future tracks showing that we'll deal with these light kind of scattered showers throughout the day today so you might have a couple sprinkles on your windshield as you're heading home from work especially over to our western counties as well. When we hit towards the overnight hours and into Tuesday mornings when we really start to see that low pressure system start to rise up from the south there rain starts to kind of pick up as well too if you live in the south and western counties this is 8 a.m. now you could be dealing with a little bit of heavier rain for your morning commute those to the north will stay relatively dry but not for long as the system continues to track northward could see some heavy rain at times. Now from 6 to 9 p.m. we could see a couple thunderstorms develop. Now the severe threat does look low at this time but can't rule out a couple of strong storms. And again 6 to 9 looks to be our best chance where we could see some of those storms. Rain kind of lessens a little bit but we deal with spotty showers overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. Wednesday morning this is your last morning commute with a little bit of rain there. Light showers and then as we hit the noon hour that rain finally starts to dissipate across the area. Rain potential over the next couple of days. So we're expecting about a half inch to an inch across the entire viewing area. Now since this rain is falling over a three day period, the flooding potential is not high. So at least that's some good news there. Today's highs will be in the mid to upper 50s. Couple chances at some 60 degrees in our far eastern counties with those scattered showers. Rain continuing overnight tonight. We will drop down to the mid 40s. So not too bad out there. City by city forecast showing Tuesday is the best chance for widespread rain and a couple of storms. Rain final, finally finishing up by Wednesday. Temperatures all the while staying in the 50s. We're not done with the rain though. Light chance of rain on Thursday. Finally dry to end the work week. And another chance of rain on the weekend. That's for Saturday. So if you any, have any outdoor plans, maybe for Saturday, might want to push those off to Sunday.